So I remember when 10 years ago or so, I was in Switzerland, someone there was talking to me about one of the richest people in the area. And I thought, he must be a banker. Switzerland, right? But no, he was actually into cucumbers. <laughs> and I was like, how do you get insanely rich of cucumbers? <laughs> it's like 96% water. It's right up there with jellyfish. But the thing he would do, he would go to farmers. And the farmers would pay him for their cucumber trash to take it away. And rather than dispose of it, he would ferment it and turn it into alcohol, which people somehow liked. So rather than selling his drinks but having to buy his materials, he got paid twice. And that's cheating. <laughs> and I was standing there like, why didn't I think of that? That's genius. But then several years later, I had, I had my idea. And somehow this became a business. And last year, I expanded it into a foundation that is solely about circular economy. And the foundation is called INDUSIM, which stands for Industrial Symbiosis. If you know the word symbiosis from biology, right? When two organisms live together for mutual benefit? Well, if one company takes the waste of another and makes a product out of that, that's industrial symbiosis. And well, for instance, if a company cuts small pieces of metal from a large metal sheet, it's completely logical for the company to then do away with the sheet and maybe melt it. But another company can make park benches from it, or tables. I've seen them. They're actually really nice because of this gap pattern that is in the sheets. There's just one problem, though, with this industrial symbiosis, because all these entrepreneurs they know a lot about their own company, but they have no idea about what the under, other company does. So they can sometimes literally have gold in their hands and think it is trash, because they have no idea what the other company could do with it. So for that, we have developed a platform, some kind of marketplace for materials, where a company can list what goes into their company and what goes out of their company, and an algorithm then finds matches in this database. And then they start talking to each other, and we try to find a product out of that. But the problem is their mindset. It's always difficult to convince these people of the solution, because everybody is so caught up in this business as usual. It's like we're trying to fix a train while it's driving, or a spaceship while it's flying. I mean, if you think about it, this is literally rocket science. Imagine you're in a spaceship, you're running out of air, you're running out of fuel, you're running out of materials. Where are you going to get more? Earth? Well, Earth is that spaceship that you're on. So we need to do something about this. And we've been looking at our energy problem, right? If you want to be more sustainable, uh, you put some solar panels on the roof, maybe you change the lights for LED lights, you buy a heat pump, and everyone can do that. But with circular economy, it's a little bit different. Because one guy, he finds out how to make cucumber booze. But what if you make kitchen sinks? You can't follow his example. Everyone is a pioneer in this transition. And that's why we have to change almost everything. Like the way we make something, the way we use something, even what it means to own something. Like items that are being produced, to break down soon so that you would buy a new one, they're being replaced now by items that last longer so that it can be rented out longer. And we are moving away from this competitive kind of economy where the consumers want to have like the cheapest deal and where a company wants to compete and take advantage. If these companies start sharing materials together and consumers hand in their old products so they can become a new product, that's the power of working together. And there's a lot of work that has to be done. So I encourage you all to just share your ideas, innovate, make a startup. That thing that can make millions and will change millions, do think of that. I had this idea to start a foundation that gives entrepreneurs the tools for change. Because I think we can all become rich 
from recycling. If we change the economy to a symbiotic economy, if we improve the economy as a whole, that benefits everyone. Thank you very much.